initially when this case was first brought up a couple years ago, I was thinking, no, not Bill Cosby. He would never do anything like that. But then when you realize that not every successful black man is a martyr or, you know, a victim in, in most cases, or when you sit down and think about the fact that you don't really know this man on a personal level outside of his comedian personality or his TV shows, then you start to think. At face value, somebody like Bill Cosby, you know, he's America's dad, you know, he's a positive black role model on television, you know, things like that. But you gotta remember, you, we need to stop putting celebrities on a pedestal and assuming we know them based upon their celebrity persona. Just because you see him on TV, he's a nice guy with his kids and all of this extra shit. I mean, how do you think he probably treats his kids in real life? Not to say that every celebrity is a bad person, but it's like, stop making judgments on them, you know, based upon the fact that they are celebrities. You don't know Bill Cosby personally. You don't know Beyonce personally. You know, you don't know Rihanna personally. You don't know any of these people, what they're capable of. So, you know, don't think, oh, he would never rape anybody. You remember the Cosby show? I mean, he created Fat Albert. You can't necessarily do that. But this guy's, you know, back in the day, cheating on his wife and, you know, buying all types of hallucinogenic drugs and all that. But meanwhile, he was the same person that was so hard on a black community and, you know, saying all types of judgmental things about us. But meanwhile, I mean, you're a serial rapist. Now, I'm just gonna get straight to the point. I personally feel like he did it. Weird that a lot of these women waited damn near like 30, 40 years to come forth about it, yes. Could some of them be lying or just being on some type of bandwagon? Yes. Could, could it be a witch hunt? Yes. But you also gotta look at the other side. Maybe he really is just as much of a monster as everybody says he is. And because people have the bias and doubt, so as many think, of course, all those women are lying. I mean, what if he really did do all that to all of those women and they felt like they didn't have a battle to fight at the time, but then years come and society is a lot more progressive and more likely to believe that they were raped and that they have a chance of winning. Kind of weird that damn near 20 plus, if I'm not mistaken, women come forth and be like, hey, the same guy raped me. I mean, is it a coincidence that all these stories sound, you know, similar? Did they really just get together like, hey, I know how we could finesse Bill Cosby. Let's all get together and say he all touched us. I'm looking at this from two extremes on both sides. You got the the leftist social justice warriors, you know, feel like all men are rapists. And in this case that, you know, he's just a big example of that. And then you got people of color like me who feel like it's just a, a witch hunt for, you know, a rich black man. And I think if you take your feelings out of it and just apply the situation to just a normal person, this was like, you know, Big Ted from 79th Street, a, a old head, just a random person. And a, a whole bunch of women came out of nowhere like, yeah, this guy had raped me back in there. Of course, you're gonna be like, well, dude was a sick fuck, but because it's Bill Cosby, it's easy to be like, no, they're just making shit up. I mean, it could really go both ways. Either way, he was in the wrong because he was using drugs to sleep with women. He was cheating on his fucking wife, doing things he had no business doing. Just say that about 10 out of those 20, and I keep saying 20, but I don't know what the specific numbers. I just know it was a lot of fucking women that came out and testified against him. Let's just say half of the women are lying. 5% of them maybe have went along with what he did whatever and they were like his side hoes or whatever it was getting paid to be quiet and i guess whatever happened let's just say if he only raped one woman bro if you did that to even one woman you're a fucking rapist and you deserve whatever you get I care if he did this shit before he got famous if he had did that shit when he was like my age or the one he was in his 30s bro you, you what was done in the dark comes in the light if you really did that which i think he did do it then you're a rapist and there's nothing you can do to negate that if that shit happened i don't care if he died right now and a hundred years from later we found out in history he had some type of medical technology whatever advanced rape kit to be like okay yeah he really did do that shit and he comes back to life you should have to face the consequences to that shit. It doesn't matter how long you did it ago. Even if the women have an agenda, you know, an agenda, my bad. Even if they want some money, 
if you raped even one of those women, you are a rapist, dude. And it's, it's pretty hard to have real tangible evidence that he did or didn't do it. But a lot of the people that are speculating this are coming out of a place of bias or a place of emotion, whether it's their own political beliefs or like their own experiences with life. Instead of trying to look at it, you know, from a factual point of view. He is an old ass man, regardless of how you look at it, whether he's innocent or he's guilty. He, he had a really long life as a rich, successful entertainer. So, I mean, push comes to shove, he does go to prison. Let's be real. Regular rapists get sent to PC. I mean, they have special facilities that are literally made for sex offenders anyway. So they won't get fucking beat up or killed. So what do you think a rich black celebrity that most people looked up to whoever? I mean, if he's in jail, I mean, he's in jail, but he's going to be comfortable. It's not like his life is going to be in hell. I mean, he's 80 years old. They get this nigga like 30 years. I think that was the maximum because there were three counts of rape he's being held against. He's going to face at least 10 years for all three of them. So I guess that's, that's a total of 30 potentially. He's 80 years old. You think the nigga going to live to be 120? He could die like five weeks from now. Point is, he kind of got away with it. He really didn't do this shit and he got falsely convicted. That's terrible too because only him, all the women that are coming up against him, and whether you believe in God, I guess, God upstairs or whatever, only they really know what's going on. But I don't know. It just seems way too fishy to say, for, for example, that he's just not guilty at all today right is right wrong is wrong anybody who does anything similar to him or even worse i hope they face you know the same type of consequences the same type of tarnishment of their image and the exact same sentences in jail time equal treatment regardless of race you know political affiliation anything at the end of the day if you are a rapist regardless of how you did it a rapist is a rapist